you need something, have a good one. Boom. Yay! Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Yes, it's time to get back to World of Warcraft and do another zone. This time, we're once again making a new character because we're doing Elwyn Forest, the human's starting zone. So I made a new character here. I decided to name her Kufina. And it's a warlock, which happens to be my personal favorite class. It's what I main. I've always main it. I will always main it. So it's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's go. Hey, <laughs> Lauren. Do you see the little starting flying around the Halloween forest animation? So this is basically the most basic zone in the game, so to say. It's like happy bright forest. Happy bright fantasy forest. Except forests in World of Warcraft never really feel like real life forests as you saw in my little special intro there. The trees are much smaller in a real forest and they're much it's much more dense. Here it's like large trees emboldened by the uh -huh. return of their heroic king Varian Rin. The proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Lich King. While successful, the campaign in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. Yet, as the Great Cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. It now falls to you to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. Hmm, yes. But yeah, as you... Oh, whoops. Uh, oh yeah, always stupid uh, damage meter just popping up in the middle of a screen of a new character or whenever there's been a new patch or everything. So here we have her, Kifina, hello. Very pale, like me. <laughs> well, I, I maybe not that pale. I'm a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit than that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, thing I can bring up from probably yesterday for you guys. Yesterday for me personally, when I did that one-off of Super Smash Bros. Afterwards, I noticed like, oh, it didn't really record any s audio from the game. I could hear. There's a slight like that it recorded that, but it was I should have checked before I started recording. I know, but yeah, that happened. So I just I'm going to put in the new game music over it, and hopefully it will just be without sound effects. I did that. I've done that before for when I did Worms Revolution. It was like two or three episodes where I just didn't have any game in-game sounds. I just put in the music, and we have no sound effects. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, let's get started here. Yeah, but I was just saying, yeah, this does not look like... Well, it is a forest, but it doesn't look too foresty. You see, the trees are too big and standing too far apart. From a real world forest, that is. At least in Sweden. <laughs> so yeah, Marshall McBride. So, you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I'm Marshall McBride, commander of this garrison. Glad to have you on board. Kufina. It is Kufina, right? You've arrived just in time. The Blackrock Orcs have managed to sneak into Northshire through a break in the mountain. My soldiers are doing the best they can to push them back, but I fear they will be overwhelmed soon. Head northwest into the forest and kill the attacking Blackrock Wergs. Help my soldiers! Blackrock Battle Wergs are fierce predators. Oh yeah, this is the model they added with uh, Breath of the Lich King expansion, so yeah. It, it's... and I will gain a belt that will gain me one armor. <laughs> oh yeah, ugh, turn off the enemy. I never have that on, I don't like that. Uh, no, you can't help me. See you around. Yeah, these are no problem. And uh, let's move this one over here. Is spams. Oh, I'm I'm very unused to Shadow Bolt because my warlock. I I'm a. Uh, what's this? 
What's this stupid thing? Health, mana... No, I don't want that. Uh, is that in combat? No. Display. Uh, no. 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 Is it so short? No, where is, is names here? Uh, personal resources, but yeah, I don't want that. I have that up here. Um, so, oh, a Blackrock spy. Hmm. He, is he even? He's completely frozen in animation. <laughs> and what's he looking at? The ground and the trees. Oh, you picked a very weird spot to be spying in. Yeah, I play a destruction warlock, so I I don't have a shadow bolt. I is it called incinerate? Something like that. Uh, shed fur. Do I? Okay, so it's been long since I leveled a warlock, since I main one. It's just I started when I made my first character, which is still my main to this day. They day. I just wanted to... Uh, Warlock felt correct. Uh, it felt right, and it's... I really like Warlocks. It's fun. They, they're fun to play. They're... They are... They feel like they can take a bit better beating than mages. Even though they have the exact same, like, armor and stuff. Yay! Level 2! Woo! <laughs> but they are still very powerful. It's... It's... I'm not sure if that's game. Maybe they have a, a bit more survivability with their abilities and such. I don't know. And there we go. By the light be renewed! Well, you're healing that guy, but you're facing that way. And here we are. Sergeant Willem. He will probably have a quest for us later. He's spying on the mountainside. They all kind of suck on spying here. Oh yeah, it's kind of a cool thing that they... Uh, if you have a target, your character will, like, turn their head slightly towards it, if they can. It's... If I stand like this... Yeah, she will... That That's a thing they added fairly recently. I think that's pretty cool. So if I untarget him... Yeah, his face goes back. So one thing I must bring up uh, here with this episode... Is that this year... Well, since last time I played World of Warcraft, which was... Late summer, early fall last year, when I did Ashenvale Horde. That was before BlizzCon. This is the first World of Warcraft I'm doing on my channel since after BlizzCon. That was in November, so it's still quite a while ago. And back then, they unveiled the next expansion, which is the Shadowlands. And one of the things they that comes with this expansion is that they are doing a level squish for the first time ever. Like when World of Warcraft first came out, you started at level 1 and you went to all the way up to level 60. And then with every expansion they added first to 70, then to 80, 85, 90, 100, 110, 120. But now they're, they're starting to get up to such high numbers that they felt like, oh yeah, it's gonna be difficult getting new players in, it's so many levels. So we're doing a level squish, so they're cutting it in half, so everyone that's max level now, 120, will be squished down to level 50, and level 60 will be the new max level, as it was originally. So I don't know, because... I don't know, for, first of all, I don't know how that will affect my mid-level characters that are in, like, levels not max or min. Uh, but also, they are changing the way leveling works, in that instead of going through, because now, oh, map, I, I don't want maps to be like this, I want this, here we go. Uh, uh, instead of going through first all this, then uh, doing Outlands, uh, currently you can pick between Outlands and Northrend, and then uh, Pandaria Cataclysm Zones, then we have Broken Isles, and, uh, and uh, Draenor. And the most current zones, Kultiras and Zandalar. But now it's gonna be instead like, oh yeah, you level up to level 10. Then afterwards, up to level 50, you just pick wherever you want to go. So you can go to Northrend in level 10, if I've gotten this correctly, and level there. Or Broken Isles, or Pandaria. And so you get the whole experience of that era. The problem is, that means with my let's playing, as I'm doing zone by zone, I'm going to out-level everything much faster than 
uh, like but that that was a problem initially then they when they did the O oh, level scaling that really helped me this is going to make sure that that I will out level stuff because it depends on how fast the leveling is really but it will make it a bit more difficult to me because when a character is done if let's say Duorn I I'm done and I've done all the zones I want to do in Kalimdor for example then I would like story wise I would want to continue to Outlands but then he's gonna be, he he's gonna have out leveled that and instead be ready for the most current content, I suppose. Which really sucks because then I have to make a new character and level that up instead. It's, it's yeah, I don't know how it will work out, but it will work out somehow. So this might be depending on Shadowlands does come out this year, but they haven't said when yet. But depending on when, this might be the last. Wow, let's play I have on my channel in this way that we've had so far. We'll just have to see how things turn out. I, let's get going here with progress. I just want to get that it said. Oh, North Shire Abbey discovered. What can I do for you? You have bought us a little time, Kefina. But we've got even bigger problems to deal with now. Oh? Oh. The invading orcs aren't fools. They are sizing us up, making sure that when they attack it will be to their advantage. In the forest to the northwest are Blackrock spies. Oh yeah, I've seen them, they kinda suck. <laughs> they peer at us through spy glasses, watching us watching our every move. Waiting. I want you to take the fight to them. Kill the Blackrock spies. We must show them that we know they are watching us and that we are prepared. Kill eight Blackrock spies. This is a male Blackrock orc spy. There are females amongst them as well. Thanks for the information. Northshire Abbot's robe. I'm getting the robe of the Abbot that I kind of thought he would want to have that by, for himself. But yeah, a belt, a belt, belt, belt. I really remember this old uh, red robe. Like mage starts with a blue robe. That's the priest starting robe there. I believe that. Yeah, monk. Oh, they were monks. Okay, so never mind. I thought rogue first. But yeah, warlocks have a red robe that looks like this, and may just get us exactly the same, but it's blue instead. And that's a memory from my I a gnome, sure, so it's much much smaller, but still, it's one of those old memories. So just to clarify for for those of you that doesn't know, these orcs are not with the horde. Most Blackrock orcs, uh, it abandoned the well they they never joined the new horde that is the horde right now woo level three and we get a new spell corruption corrupts the target causing 21 shadow damage over 14 seconds yeah so it's a curse it well you curse curse you and you see it's a dot they take damage slowly <laughs> corruption i haven't had that in a long time either uh, yeah, let's just kill them more space but as I was saying, the Blackrock orcs, they they were in the original horde, but they never rejoined the new horde because well, the new horde was formed like up here and they are from down here. So they were, weren't close to that. And since then, they've kind of gotten on bad terms with the new horde as well. I think they call themselves either the true horde or the dark horde or something like that. Uh, so they have their own agenda, really. No one likes them. <laughs> I think they've allied themselves with some trolls, but that's it. It's, And I think that those are trolls that aren't allied with anyone else either. So <laughs> It's hard to keep track of all the different alliances between when there are many factions within the same race. <laughs> Well, especially trolls, they have so many different tribes. Extre extremely many tribes. Some big tribes and some a lot smaller tribes. And technically, I think the Darkspear tribe is quite a small tribe. Like, technically. Spyglass, peering through a spyglass. <laughs> uh, Lore-wise, at least. But they, at least from the beginning, I think they by now they've grown. But I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Do, do, do. And the Dark Spear tribe is the tribe of trolls that you play as uh, as a player. Uh, but now there's also Zandalari trolls that you can unlock. 
but yeah, the original, original ones. Yes, yeah, so a big part of this episode was well talking about the things, but yeah, that's what we have today. Excellent work, Kefina. You've turned out to be quite an asset to this garrison. It's time for you to train. Oh, after killing wolves and orcs, now it's training time. <laughs> First we'll just throw you out there to see if you survive or not. And I get a robe. Join the battle. I received an urgent message from Sergeant Willem. Oh, we met him. Turns out that the Blackrock Orcs have hired goblin assassins. They ambushed a battalion behind the abbey. Willem has asked me to send him a hero. You have to go help them, Kefina. Find Sergeant Willem north of the abbey at the command tent. Go! Report to Sergeant Willem behind Northshire Abbey in Elwyn Forest. Sergeant Willem can be found at the command tent behind Northshire Abbey! Yes. Okay, let me just put on my new robe. Goodbye, red robe. Oh, green. I like green. Yeah. This one is so nostalgic, but the Acolyte's robe. It isn't soulbound, so if I ever want one on one of my old characters, I can just, like, make a new character and just send it over. Ah. I rarely see the new critter animations. At least the walking one. Huh, that's cool. Die! <laughs> and we sell the old robe. Extra copper, yeah. But I do have to end this first episode of Elwyn Forest here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye! Watch the videos.